In this video, we will look at the origin of Mahamrityunjaya Mantra and the shloka that describes Shiva's form as Lord Mrityunjaya. We will also look at the benefits of chanting this mantra along with how to chant it properly and of course its meaning. The Sanskrit channel is an initiative to explore a vast variety of original Sanskrit literature. If you wish to support this effort, please consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution through the links in the description below. Your support will help us improve the quality, length and number of topics covered in our videos. Do check out all the links in the description below. Mahamrityanjaya Mantra presents itself in the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda and Atharvana Veda. Mrityuhu in Sanskrit means death and Jaya is victory. Chanting this mantra provides the seeker with health, vibrance, strength and ultimately victory over the very cycles of birth and death. The mantra works best if we attach a form to it and meditate on that form. This process is called as Dhyanam. Let's now learn the shloka that describes the form of Shiva as Lord Mrityanjaya. This is the form that we need to meditate upon while we chant the Mrityanjaya mantra. Hastam bhoja yugastha kumbha yugalad udhritya toyam shiraha Sinchantam karayor yugena dadhatam svanke sakumbhau karau Akshasrag mruga hasta mambuja gatam murdhastha chandram sravat Piyu shotra tanum bhaje sagirijam mrityunjayam triambakam Now, I want to go into a word by word meaning of this shloka but many of you have told me it's getting too boring so I am just going to include it in the description. The gist of the shloka is, I meditate upon that form of Shiva who has his wife by his side, who is known by the name Mrityanjaya, who has three eyes. He is purifying himself with water flowing down onto his head or Shiraha from two pairs of hands holding two pots. With two more hands, he is holding two more pots in his lap. In his other two hands, he is holding a Rudrakshamala and holding Mrugi Mudra, which is representative of purification. On the top of his head is the moon, from which Piyusha or nectar is flowing down. With this form of Shiva in mind, let's now look at how to chant the Mahamrityunjaya Mantra properly. Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Urvarukamiva bandhanan mrityor mukshiyamamrutat. Some people call it bandhanat. That happens when the words are being split apart and being uttered separately. While chanting, it's best to use bandhanan mrityor mukshiya. This mantra is composed of two lines. In the first line, we invoke Shiva. To understand this line better in common English, we can look at the words in this order. Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushtivardhanam Triambakam Which means, I invoke the fragrant, strength-enhancing, three-eyed form of Shiva. After having invoked him, we now address him directly and ask him to do our bidding. Mukshiya Ma Amritat Mrityoho Bandhanat Urvarukam Iva Free me, not from immortality, but from death's grip like a ripe cucumber. I have never seen it myself, but they say a ripe cucumber detaches itself from the plant with utmost grace and effortlessness. So, through this shloka, we are beseeching a fragrant, potency-enhancing Lord Mrityunjaya to free us effortlessly from death's grip and provide us immortality. I hope you enjoyed learning Maha Mrityunjaya Mantra. If you wish to support the production of more videos like these, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or make a one-time contribution all through the links in the description below. Consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore hidden gems in the vast world of diverse Sanskrit literature. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.